Fishy probably gonna be uh, a little bit uh, happier with this, I think, maybe. Is Isengard his favorite race, or...? Mm, I don't know if they are favorite, but this is a tough matchup for either team to win, you know? Mm. But Oats for sure is hoping that he is a uh, Mordor. So settlement first for Isengard, and Rohan is just going for settlements on the both sides. And of course draft, because why not? There is only part, there is the only power point that Rohan could, uh, did, yeah, Rohan could pick in the beginning of the game. Like, yeah. he is completely useless, because those peasants are completely useless without the draft. Yeah, but what, uh, what, uh, Oates is doing is good going forward with the Hobbit, taking the farms with the peasants. Then he will come through, maybe if you're lucky, getting in the base, you know, or getting around to the back farm with this peasant. But. Actually, with the Hobbit, you can deal more and more damage. You can actually kite your opponent also with him and clock near the settlement. So that's pretty decent idea. But uh, as we can see, Fish is just skipping the the other settlement and just going straight towards the opponent's uh, units. It's just dealing damage, it seems, right? Yeah, he's just sending a laborer to take it because he's starting a uh, mill fern. He not have the money to buy it anyway, until that labor is probably not long there, you know. So now he only just has enough money to buy this farm. So Warchant was used. Uh, peasants been killed actually. Works will deal with them for sure. And yeah, but uh, he looking he looking for the other peasant. He thinking that the other one is there. But when you see that the Hobbit is here, you should know automatically that there is no peasant other there. Only this one peasant came. So that's why he is now attacking this uh, peasant. By the way, are but for one player is using the. Stop button like S or however they S. call it. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe some. Maybe they're using it. I don't know. Personally, I use it. So, like if uh, if I'm using um, if I have Gollum chasing me or something, then for sure I'm using. Yeah, the bite out of Mary with Hobbit all the time with the stopping bottom is a really decent idea. And also the world on running out. Now for the Isinger player, you get to do something, yeah. you get to go with the under pressure here. Place, right? Yes. Yeah, he's under pressure here. But he's still trying to deal some pressure towards his opponent and it's for some more peasants out of the farms. So it might work out also. But Oats is already going for Rohan stables. And uh, actually he will take control over the Top side. Even losing one farm here for Isengard is really bad, you know, and he's gonna lose this farm 100%. But mm, he needs to go for those Uruk uh, for those Uruk eyes and to achieve Uruk pet level two. There is no other no other way to go for it. Killing the mill is uh, so much more beneficial to him in the long run, you know, so much more. For he the don't care player. if you're losing. Yeah, he don't care if you're losing all these peasants now. Getting the mill is uh, really, really good. Actually, but he's not gonna lose everything here because the Hobbit will stay alive and the peasants making rank too. Yeah, it's he'll, really bad he'll, for he'll take, this. He will take this farm for sure at the moment. Yeah, and he probably just gonna let this uh, rank two peasant sit here and uh, regenerate. Actually, should. yeah, actually we are playing on Odd's horse, so that's that's uh, beneficial for him as well. It may oh, seems like. Um, it doesn't matter at all, but to be honest, if you're playing any matches and you're on host, you get automatically this one millisecond uh, less delay than your opponent, and actually you can deal more damage, or actually be rather fractual with the damage that you can deal to the opponent. Mer is moving forward, actually, yep. he will take uh, some lumbers out. And orcs, those Urukais are actually doing completely nothing. They're just trying okay. to achieve the war chant to maybe deal some damage towards the opponent. He isn't gonna get war chant for a long time because he used it on the bottom left farm earlier. Like oh, I haven't seen it. Ago. I haven't seen it. And but he... Oates is being really stupid now by creeping this work. I think he should be coming over and maybe killing this mill. But creeping is also okay. He's trying to deal damage actually. He's not creeping. He's not creeping. Yeah, he's, he's creeping. Oates is creeping with the horse uh, oh, on his horse. side of the middle. Actually, actually, it's a good idea. Because later on you get um, so much gap between you and your opponent, and if you are creeping the metal, the metal on Forza Weizen is so unfair. 
actually because if you creep those two creeps then it's so easy to move forward from this point so if you're a Rohan player if you got the advantage already and you force your opponent to achieve level 2 on this Uruk pit and force uh, him to create some Berserkers that is not beneficial for the ice angle player that knows already that Stabilis is up then you can deal so much damage and get more treasures experience for your horses and later on won the game just by doing this I don't see a way for Isengard back into this game, to be honest. I don't think that Fishy has uh, much of any kind of a chance. You know, Fishy will reclaim what he needs to do and he will try to get some more um, lumber mills or those settlements will be taken by him, but uh, Rohim is already here. Urukais are not a threat towards them, so they will kite them out. And they will buy time uh, in order to just uh, put those uh, settlements up. It seems that even he he decided to let it down, to not doing this. And it seems that Oz is creeping entire map, even with those hurt horses. He received two power points, he might go for a heal. Uh, hopefully Fishy will creep two works here at the top. If he chancing all of this, he killing uh, all of these uh, two works at the top here. But I don't know what he's waiting I for. Don't he's waiting think for so. something. I don't think so that he will be able to do it. Even if he creep the top one, uh, like near yeah, the he outpost. Has a, he has a berserker there for sure. He can kill two. But he's not going for it. He's so scary, I guess. No, uh, no, he. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. He doesn't know about the middle work being uh, already crept on the middle, so he going there, thinking that he can get that, but it's gone. And actually, actually from the middle creep you can go wherever you, you want uh, as a Rohan or Gondor player if you're playing against Force of Evil. And your opponent just catch up that you already crap the Warclaw on the middle and this is completely out of balance your opponent. Yeah. Anyway, on the good side Fishy just received the industry. <laughs> So he will get some more treasures or rather resources out of those uh, furnaces, but um, nonetheless, without those creeps, he's not able to deal much of the damage. He will be forced to be just preoccupied in his base and um, try to protect those settlements as far as Maybe Oach possible. is going to lose this horse at the top? Oh no, nearly. No. Uh, as we saw at the beginning, he is on host, so he got this advantage of the micro over there. And if you're Rohan, yeah, but it's easy to, to lose con uh, control. It's easy to lose concentration for just a split moment. You know, that's all it takes. If tonight has proven anything, then one small mistake can change the game so fast. Peasants against Pikes on the bottom, so we know who's going to win this. <laughs> At least I hope that I know who's going <coughs> to win. <laughs> okay, peasants are going to win, so <laughs> that's totally totally good. So still, farms and all the settlements belongs to the Rohan player. He got everything under control. And is it true that uh, Rohan got advantage, like some advantage on host already? Like you're winning 100% oh, sure, yeah. of the game? If you're on host, you have an advantage of... Uh moving your units and everything, you know, it's so much difficult to move your horses around pikes than it is on host, you know. On host, it's so much easier to micro around the pike to kill a farm than what it would be off host. It's harder to move it around the farm to kill it. Uh, but actually, what I was trying to um, know about this um, type of game, is it true that if you're Rohan and you're on host, you can win against every matchup? Most yeah, of the time, I mean... Uh, most of the time, you can win every matchup if you're on host. Rohan against any of the armies. Oh, he I'm will lose. Sure. No, I I'm not sure what is the... I think Isengard is probably the hardest uh, army for Rohan to beat on host, probably. But I saw... Depending. Yeah, I saw Katis uh, say it and other players that play most of the time Batfum 1. I don't really mem remember because I, when I was playing Batfum 1, I was playing on tons of maps and I don't really pay attention to the... Uh, specific races, mm, so my understanding of the game was a little bit different. Uh, but when I saw Cat is telling me that uh, whatever I'm going to do, however I'm going to play, uh, Rohan on host is going to win, nonetheless, uh, specifically now that we are playing on Game Ranger, that doesn't allow us to go forward between 2 megabytes per second actually, and most of the players uh, put uh, this uh, Game Ranger settings on default, which is completely bullshit. <coughs> Sorry for the words, but this is actually true. You shouldn't let your Game Ranger set up uh, into default. 
because you screwed up your connection towards the other player all the time by doing this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you haven't noticed, <laughs> actually. No. Oh, yeah. So you should just put it to 2 megabytes per second if you got actually this kind of internet connection. I assume that most of players got this kind of internet connection. But let's get into the game. Rohan got the entire map control, got the upgrades necessary, got the heal in order to heal those units, and definitely goes for Horde's shields in order to take down those uh, sentry towers. Fish is going for Lords, I don't know for what reason. Is that the reason to go for lures at this point of the game when you get completely um, out of the map? You doesn't have map control. You cannot gain the map control. You're trying to do it with war riders, and on top of everything, instead of going for upgrades, you're going for lures. What is the what is the uh, idea? I don't see the benefit in it. But then, then again, anything that fishy does, you know, is random and uh, weird. So. I already said that uh, I didn't think Fisher would win this matchup, but uh, he's doing some stupid things. He's losing works here to silly, silly things. He's just doing stupid stuff. <clears throat> but Oates is uh, punishing him completely at the moment, so I don't see this game lasting for for much longer, for sure. He already has full upgrades on all his horses. He's going to be coming soon to the base to apply pressure and kill his, some uh, some buildings. And he bought the uh, outpost at the top. He's gonna make archers here, which is really nice. Yeah, it's like a, like a bonus, I guess. The outpost is just here to allow the Rohirrims to heal themselves quicker, so he will not be able to, uh, forced to retreat to his base. And the far side and war. Yeah, but this chant, this chant that Fishy using right now is actually not that bad. If he going with both his works, but he only going with one, which is kind of kind of silly, because he can kill this uh, archery range. <clears throat> break the statue <clears throat> but uh, he only going with one so now he doesn't have a chance and he has to leave because uh, he's gonna lose all this and maybe even Lurch is gonna die here too Lurch no maybe not yeah he gets the archer in the needs to get the archer inside the uh, tower at least he will take down the heroic statue <laughs> yep. and now he's gonna probably lose Lurch depending on how good he can uh, micro him here he will not be able to do much, I guess. But I don't think either that uh, Rohan should concentrate on the on this lure so much. But as you oh, can see, they, these work riders are you dead. Get a, you get almost a full power point for this, oh so of course, my. if you can kill him, he should chase him, you know, still. He should uh, micro around this. He has host. Oh my god, don't lose this. He messed oh, okay, up. I think he just. Ma yeah, right. uh, he gonna, he's gonna get it. He's gonna get him, but he's just gonna move him, micro it around. Now he will get him. Okay. Now he will go back. Or maybe he will fight this pike a little. Yeah, he's gonna fight this pike a little bit. Then we get Tilden uh, on the battlefield. And he's gonna win. Rohirrim is leveling up. Everything is works great for um, Oats actually. Fishy is going for upgrades, but I guess it's already too late. Yeah, for sure it's too late. I like also what Oats is doing at the bottom with his uh, rank 5 horse and peasant there leaving it there so he can keep this map control no matter what anything fishy is sending down there you have the pikes uh, the peasants for the pikes the horse for the works to be honest I don't really like what <laughs> what all this, all this is doing in the bottom he would definitely be able to take the other outpost just create maybe some farms over there to increase his uh, resource count <laughs> just for a split second and came back with those Rohirrims in the right time to defend this farm for sure. But maybe he will invest those resources to finish the game faster. It's not the bad call at all. He got everything in him, every card in his um, hands, so he could definitely do it. But Hill is not here. Elf and Alliance He's are gonna, here. Yeah, but he has elves. He's gonna use them any moment probably, and just to attack the base. As and fire on these archers, which is good. I saw in the previous games, uh, like, mm, let's be out of topic for uh, for a split seconds, uh, like, uh, what was this, uh, Gondor, Gondor Mordor, when Mordor got really big trouble with micromanagement, and then which, Gondor which, it too. Who was playing which armies, what armies are they? Um, on Duneland, uh, Rohan, uh, Gondor Mordor. I mean, what players were playing? Oh my god, I don't remember. It was today, uh, though? Ganja and... Uh, be well. Be well, yeah. Yeah. Like uh, later on, micro was a really big issue for both the players. 
I understood that they got to control left and right side and take control over the outposts on the respected sides but definitely putting the one battalion on the control one and control two is not a big deal I guess <laughs> mm -hmm. no not true I guess or maybe this uh, I'm not going to judge anyone now I guard has no pikes left yes well he has one just coming out now but no chance no rain the next attack will be probably the final one, I guess. To be honest, I hope that uh, Odds is going to finish it as fast as possible because the rain is coming. I know that there are no upgrades, but uh, the longer he is going to wait, the, it's going rain to be. Rain is not easy. coming. Fishy took devastation, oh, which is took very devastation. peculiar. He's he just trying to. Yeah, he just wants to take care about the income. Oh, we got some combos, and I guess this is going to be it. But Tilden yeah, is I moving forward. Oh. Use and, the pin. And, and again, the micro problem. Tilden should be on just stopping button. But Rohan he, is on host here, and he's just running yeah. his ar army in the base. Yeah, he should just use the stopping button, destroy all those uh, units actually, and all those uh, sentry towers, get some more power points, and then attack maybe. But he is cocky, I guess, and he may even pay for this. I understand that he got all the upgrades, but he will lose so many units, and Theoden is pinned, Theoden is dead, there are no leaderships anymore, and combos, okay, there, it doesn't actually matter, but uh, if he doesn't have that much units, he could be dead for sure. Lourdes is dead, so I mean, this is G. Lourdes is losing a lot of his army here, Yeah. and uh, Fishy Chan hit one pike, which was dead, but yeah, GG is in the chat for that. What he should dodge? <laughs> yeah, he, at the start he's he's saying that he should dodge this matchup. But there's no like rematch after this. He he, no, he no, will no. lose it. So in the, in the tournament, each player gets one dodge. So when the game starts, if the they both have the same army, it's an instant remake. Also, if one player doesn't like the matchup that they're playing, they can dodge the matchup and then they make it. They they make the room again. They join the room. But if they get the same matchup again. Then they cannot choose to dodge because they only get one dodge each per player. Okay, <clears throat> I got to say it. Who makes those pussy like rules? I have no idea. I was not here when the tournament was drawn or players signed up or the rules or anything. But I'm imagining it was a 